Today has been a very busy day for me to the point that I didn't really get any kind of footage whatsoever on like anything and I feel kind of bad for it but at the same time I feel like I know what I can do to make this video different for you guys and that is reflecting. Now I know that uh, every pretty much every Sunday I have been spending some time reflecting on the past week but I haven't actually reflected on what brought me to this point and in order to explain that I have to be reflecting from this point forward uh, from this point back to when I first started vlogging because Looking at my life at the start of this vlog to right now There's been a lot of stuff that's been happening and I want to be taking the time to be explaining all of that Or at least explaining some of it and and I'm also just like in a really reflective mood Because like this past week I've been just talking about a, a variety of insights and a lot of those insights stemmed from me taking the time to be reflecting on my past actions who I was a couple of years ago, and, and so on. Now, the main reason why I compare myself from like who I am today versus a couple of years ago is because I actually was doing some vlogging a couple of years ago. It was, it was basically the start of this whole channel, was essentially uh, um, vlogging is, was pretty much what I, what I did eventually. And who I was back then was completely different than who I am now. And I talk about that a lot in my writing. I, 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 I am very open about it and saying like, hey, I was a hypocrite like a couple of years ago. I was saying a lot of things, but I wasn't taking my own advice. I wasn't following through on the actions. I was just spouting whatever, even if it was very helpful and insightful. Uh, like I wasn't really taking any action whatsoever. However, the difference now is I'm actually following through with a lot of the stuff that I'm saying. Like I back it up with my own personal experiences. For example, I said uh, in, a, in a previous video to practice affirmations and I kind of use those affirmations to manipulate my brain into taking action on various things. It's gotten me to the point where I'm actually comfortable with taking cold showers or I can actually take some cold showers on, on a regular and daily on, on a regular basis and that was something that doesn't normally happen in my lifestyle normally I take a warm shower just like any other person and then I hop out and that that's and that's it I never actually took the time to be uh, bathing in cold water or at least like the 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 end of my shower just uh, standing in some cold water that doesn't that didn't happen that didn't happen but I'm actually taking the time to be doing that now and that's that's the thing like that's a huge difference or at least that's a slight difference in where I was and before so again I think that reflecting is really important because from the start of my vlogging I actually took some time to say okay you know what I want to start pushing myself I want to start making a lot of commitments and yes there's been plenty of times where I've relapsed uh, several times but I've realized a lot from those kind of processes and I'm starting to take note of what is actually happening in my in, in my life and what sort of things I can actually be taking action action on what sort of things I can be improving upon and what can I be doing moving forward so some of the other actions that I've been taking was for one I started to look for some writing clients and I actually did manage to find one very early on in, in my vlogging and I do talk a lot about it in pretty much every single one of my vlogs. I have I at least take some time to be talking briefly about some of the work that I've been doing with my clients. I don't necessarily share the details, but the work is uh, is, is a lot, or, or is, it's a fair amount, and the pay is not all that great. But for me right now, I'm not that concerned about the pay. I'm more concerned about the, the sharpening of my experiences and the fact that I'm actually getting some level of income 
So that is what's mostly important to me with, with this client. And it's a huge step up from who I was before where I didn't even like consider guest posting or taking on a, a, other clients. Now I do this routinely. I'm actually posting on other sites such as Medium, which is, which is also another source for me to actually be getting some money. Now, I do actually have a strategy for Medium to grow a lot more and actually start getting paid more because right now I'm actually getting paid below average uh, on uh, all, all of the other writers that are on Medium that are that are through the partnership program that Medium offers. So right now I, I'm I'm taking the time to be putting together a strategy and I won't be announcing it until the end of March. So at the end of this month, I will be making an announcement about what exactly I have planned uh, to boost my audience and to boost my income on Medium. For those of you who are not familiar at all with Medium, Medium is a free platform for writers who share articles. And there is also a paid version where you can get access to premium content. As far as my life goes, it's literally just been a standstill. It's been very repetitive. So. I feel like as far as my videos go, uh, that, that's kind of the same, they've kind of met this, the same fate where it's been very repetitive. As far as, as far as that goes, I know that it's, again, like very repetitive of me, but as I said before in my very first video, what's important with these vlogs isn't necessarily the variety of content. It's more important uh, in the words that I'm saying or what it is that I'm talking about and the sort of transformation that, that I'm going through in my life. It's going to be a slow process because again, like it's a daily vlog. So there's not gonna be a huge progress between each and every video that is being uploaded. However, it, however over time, there, there's gonna be a lot of momentum. Like I've said before, like reflecting now on, on what's been happening in my life, a lot of things have happened. Like I've, I've started to become a little bit more conscious about my money. I started saving up for a variety of other things. I actually have a lot of ideas for things that I want to be doing moving forward. Some things that I'm excited to be sharing with you guys and showing you guys. Like there's, the, I'm starting to get ideas for things that I can be doing in, in the summer and in the spring. And we're, we're still like in the middle of March. So th there's a lot of things that I'm really excited for that I'm, I, I'm, I'm dying to share with you guys, but obviously it's gonna take a little bit more time. I feel like what's most important, as I've kind of talked a little bit about, is taking the time to be explaining things, to be setting up a framework for what's happening. So if you see me doing certain things or saying certain things, you actually have some context for it. So that's the, that's, my reasoning behind these kinds of videos on these sorts of reflective videos that I'm taking where I'm sharing more information about myself so that in future videos I don't have to really be doing that and people can understand what sort of motivator, motivators I have and what sort of drives me and what sort of things are getting me to think a little bit. So I've been rambling on for quite some time now so I'm gonna be cutting it off now but I would like to hear about your guys' own questions to me. So if you guys have any questions at all about uh, specific things, then leave it down in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer anything. It can be anything about my own life or on self-improvement or entrepreneurship and I would be happy to help you guys out in, in any way.